I wish you a great school day, Kate. Learn well, listen carefully to your teacher. That's all I want. All right, Mom. Thanks. Oh, wait, one more thing. Don't get into a relationship with anyone, otherwise you will see pain. Your dad will also spy on you, as he is a teacher in your school. Don't worry, Mom. See you after school. Bye. Hello, Jerry. Our daughter left our house. Be ready to spy on her, all right? Don't do it, Nate. Otherwise, my father will catch me and I'll get in trouble. But I can't resist. You're cute that I want to kiss you 24-7. Do you understand me, cutie pie Katie? <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Nate. I wish we could be an official couple without to make out secretly because of my family. Indeed. Wait, I guess your dad is coming straight to us. Miss Carla said that these tasks are not necessary, because we haven't learned them yet. Oh, I see. Good morning, Mr. Teacher. What are you two doing here? Well, I am explaining my classmate that it's not necessary to do these tasks, because we haven't learned them yet. And also we need to do a presentation in English. I see. Daughter, you listen to your mother, right? Of course. Good. You two don't spend much time together, is that clear? Good. I'll get back to the teacher's office. See you later. Finally he is gone. Finally. You know what? Let's meet at the Palada Cafe at 3 afternoon and have a great time together. Are you sure? What if my dad will spy on me? You know, my parents are such controlling people. Don't worry, I have a plan. Yes, Mom, just like you explained to me, I'm not in a relationship with anyone. I'm just concentrating on school and until I graduate college, I won't be in a relationship with anyone. Good job, Kate. Well, anyway, I go to the kitchen and bake a cake. Mom, I wanted to ask you, if I could go to Clara to study for math. But didn't you go to her to study math yesterday too? Yes, it's because the math test won't be an easy test, you know. I want to get a good grade, do you understand? I am so proud of you Kate. You can go to Clara to study math of course, but come home before 6, alright? Thank you mom. See you later. I hope you're telling the truth, Kate, or I will kill your secret boyfriend. Hello, beauty. Hello, handsome. How are you doing? Well, I feel a little bit excited because of our first meeting outside the school. So, could you convince your parents that you are going to study math with Clara? Yes, of course, and they believe me. Wait. What if they will call Clara to ask about me? Babe, wait, calm down. Your parents believe you, right? Yes, why? Okay, that won't be a problem. They won't call her after they believe you, so do not panic, please. Okay, thanks for making me calm down. I feel better now. Well then, let's go in and have a milkshake together. So you two didn't plan anything to study for math here, did you? No we didn't Miss Clarson, I said that I don't have time today, due to I'll visit my mom in the hospital, and she said okay. I understand now. Okay, I have an idea. Tell me your idea. Since you really want to leave your controlling parents and start a new life, do you want to fly to Great Britain with me and live with us? 
Wait, are you sure? Do your parents really love me that much? My parents want you to be my wife. That's how much they love you. That sounds sweet of them, but I don't know how this should work. Do you really move away from here? Yes, of course. My grandpa died a few days ago, and we got a fat inheritance. We can start a new life in Great Britain. You are also 20 years old, and you can do whatever you want. So, are you in? I am in Nate. I will be your wife, of course. No, you're not, you little bitch. You will live with us your whole life, and do what we command you. Dad? Yes, it's me, your dad. Now you two are in serious trouble.